Welcome to Chapter 6 of the History of the Missouri Feral Hog. The Missouri Feral Hog Research Project, Final Report in My Hands. This is where history serves a pick and choose history of what they shared with the Missouri media and what they shared with the Missouri public. Trapping is $264 per hog. So that's where the most efficient method of killing hogs is trapping comes from. Aerial gunning or helicopters cost $296 to kill each hog. Snaring costs $538 to catch each hog. And hunting with dogs or hog dogging costs $641 to catch each hog and where they say it's the most inefficient method, you only kill one or two. There's a slight caveat with that, and we'll go into that further. The Missouri Department of Conservation began the Feral Hog Research Project in 2009 to analyze hog movements, cost efficiency controls, and reproductive characteristics growth rates of the population. The Missouri Department of Conservation Feral Hog Research. Feral hogs are known to occur in at least 40 counties in Missouri and are generally found or near large tracts of public land. The home range of 15 hogs indicated the average home range was 8.6 square miles, which is around 5,400 acres. Home range sizes of feral hogs in Missouri were much larger than reports of other states, including Texas, Oklahoma, California, Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, and Tennessee. With all the acorns, I can imagine the home range of 5,000 plus acres makes perfect sense. Our population growth rate estimates indicated similar removal rates would be necessary to stabilize. 62% or to reduce 71% of the population growth. This is what the executive summary said, trapping and helicopter costs with helicopters, aero gunning was $296 per hog. The distance analysis showed that hogs were at least disturbed by trapping and most disturbed by aero gunning with a helicopter. Generally, our results were similar to the others, and while hunting with arrow gunning did have some impact on hog movements, those activities did not cause hogs to leave the home range or cause permanent shifts of their activity. So in other words, the hogs did not leave 5,000 acres during a helicopter. However, the average distance away moved from sites of disturbance to helicopters was approximately one kilometer. Again, however, the average distance away hogs moved from site disturbance when helicopter was used was one kilometer. It is likely that the activity will cause the hog to leave the area, but in general, hogs do not go very far and often return to the site after a period of time. According to the data, the majority of control efforts should be applied from March through May and September through October, which is Missouri's turkey season and Missouri's bow season, as these periods are likely to result in the removal of more pregnant females. This currently is in contrast to the hog control operations in Missouri, as hog control is often put on hold during these times to reduce conflicts with hunting seasons on public areas.
This is where Missouri Department of Conservation hog dog research splits from the rest of the country. The retired Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fish Captain Bobby Bouette, May 2019. I'm a firm believer in utilizing everything, whether trapping, shooting, or hunting with dogs. The extension associate with the NRA specialized with educating Texas on wildlife, wild pig biology impacts and control in May of 2019. When and how trained dog teams are used can be paramount to the overall effectiveness control techniques. Dogs are capable of removing wild pigs that weren't able to remove following the enactment of other strategies and otherwise trapping. Research shows that trained dogs are most effectively used on residual populations as a final tool of sequence control efforts. Texas A&M, the number one agricultural school in the nation, successful wild pig eradication utilizes trained dogs. The research utilized trained dogs in 89, 95, 2001, 2007, 2008, and 2010, all before the 2012 final report came out in Missouri. Texas A&M Ag Life Extension is in the business providing research-based information and research continues to affirm the validity of trained dogs among tools in our wild pig management toolbox. I am currently unaware of a single successful wild pig eradication study that did not use live trained dogs in some form, whether through hunting drives, tracking, or through direct pursuit and capture. This is not to say successful eradication without dogs is impossible, but rather to the evidence that an effective wild pig management often requires the use of all available tools. Missouri Department of Conservation's feral hold research that ended in 2012. One of the big problems with this study does not match up with the multiple other studies in other states and what private citizens are doing with hog dogs in Missouri. It took two years to kill eight hogs with dogs. It took 150 hours to kill eight hogs with dogs. The cost was $18.75 per hour for the hunter. And in January of 2020, Missouri hog doggers took 57 wild hogs in 48 hours. Of those 57 wild hogs, 43 of those wild hogs were sows, with 165 unborn piglets inside them. There is something wrong with this study, but no one has ever questioned it. Hundreds of Missouri families have been fed by Missouri wild hog doggers. 57 wild hogs in 48 hours in January of 2020, which 43 of these wild hog sows with 165 unborn piglets, would have been added to the historical high wild population in Missouri. 123 Missouri wild hogs in 48 hours, 8,000 pounds of Missouri wild hogs, February 2020, 83 of those wild hogs sows with 249 unborn piglets that would have been added to the historical high wild hog population in Missouri. Then 138 wild hogs in 48 hours in December of 2020.
2013 Missouri Department of Conservation reports that they have killed 1,400 plus Missouri feral hogs in the state of Missouri. The Missouri Department of Conservation in 2013 would construct a one-day area operation control for our hogs in Mingo National Wildlife Refuge. MDC staff quote, with traps you might get 15 hogs if you get out with a helicopter, you can get 40 and 50 in one day, so that's much more efficient. That area hog hunt yielded exactly one dead feral hog at Mingo National Wildlife Refuge in 2013. Mingo's refuge manager would quote, media 2013 current population is around 200 feral hogs on Mingo National Wildlife Refuge. Missouri Bow Hunters Survey Feral Hog in 2013, they saw 104 wild hogs in 12 counties. Also during that time, the estimated population in 2010, this is now 2013, was 10,000. The hogs killed by the MDC was 1,400. The actual percentage of hogs killed was 14%. It requires 70% to be killed to keep the population stable, which again would be 7,000. 